It's day three. Kingdom of Loathing. And you know what that means. It's time for some moody, some more moody atmospheric bullshit. Oh yeah. My favorite. Alright, I'm gonna eat these mummified beef haunches. What do we got for booze? I got a yellow brick road. I kinda wanna reserve that for a nightcap, quite frankly. Um I might order can I afford a fliver? I can afford one fliver. That's a little Oh I got I still got these actual pilsners. Never mind. Put that shit in my face. And then a CC Excuse me, CSA cheerfulness ration. I find this to be acceptable. Hmm. Do I wanna do I wanna risk getting all quapped up? I would really prefer not to get all quapped up, quite frankly. That's fine. I have what, 320? 320, 320 and uh, sorry, 275 adventures. I can make this work. Alright, Amon, what's up? Still working on it, Amon. I'm not so sure about any of my staff back to the idiots who lost it in the first place. Do you think maybe it would be better security wise to just get a bank safety deposit box or something? It would work in the short term, boss, but it is the course of eons we must consider. Civilizations fall and banks with them. You have a good point. What's up? Well, boss, this one report is from one of the spies. It seems that Mr. G's crony's next task was to infiltrate one of the factions that live on the mysterious island nearby and start a war. Interesting, so how'd it go? Successfully, the war ended with the annihilation of the losers, who were reproduced to primitive cavemen. But there's something strange. What's that? They seem to have recovered already. My agents on the island report both of the societies on the island, the hippies and the frat boys, are carrying on as though nothing untoward ever occurred. It seems these people are so simple, rebuilding their society from scratch is a matter of days. And their days so intoxicated they barely even remember them. Huh. Weird. You think I should go check that out? I'm not entirely certain that it will serve any useful purpose, boss, but yes. I feel that we're very close to our goal now, so we should stick to the path that we followed to thus far. In fact, I would encourage you to start a new war between them. Why? Honestly, I'm just interested to see what happens. Alright, fair enough. I'm curious myself. I mean, hey. Hey, we're Ed the Undying. It's been a while since we started a war, so let's get to it. Still, what's left? Uh, right, I gotta go search for Ron Copperhead on the Red Zeppelin, and I gotta go to the Copperhead Club and find Shen, the man mentioned in the diary. Uh, but first, I'm gonna go to Spooky Raven Manor. Now that I know about the... Uh, now, I know, now that I know about the... Uh, oh, hey. Uh, I'd like some bonus item drops, please. Be a doll, will ya? Um, I'll take some substats. I'm, I'm level 12, so it doesn't really matter to me. Play the music. There we go. Okay, uh, now I have to equip the glasses. Boom, 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 boom. This game... Not th this game is good, but not, like, too good for itself. The Charles Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden is too good for itself. What the fuck? Why is that game so good? No one knows. It's just so, so fantastic in every way. Oh man, I forgot to use my briefcase yesterday. Oh well. It restores all my stats and stuff. I'll take the attorney's badge, just because I want to shout objection at people. Tinsel tights. Uh, the tinsel tights seem a little unnecessary, but I'll hold off on using the pantogram. Wow, I didn't expect these songs to get uh, go so well together. All right, I need uh, the Chateau de Vinegar and the Blasting Soda. Um, I, I I'm confident in my combat macro. So ooh, wait a minute. Before I forget, Chateau Montaigne to defeat the Lobster Frog Man. Ha! They are nothing to me now. Okay, um, where was I? Haunted wine cellar, yes. I need a bottle of Chateau de Vinegar. I don't know why I'm... I can't... Fuck. I can't hit anything there. God damn it. What does it matter? I don't need to hit things. I made the undying. I cast the spells. You know what? Screw it. General preferences common adventures you're unprepared for provide hints huh. 
Sure warning if any of the above maintenance fails. Crap. Okay, never mind. I guess I guess there isn't a way to turn that off. That sounds frustrating. Then again, I guess other people are simply not as lazy as myself. Damn it. Some sommeliers. A cupcake in a cup? What? Caked cake? Anyway. Here's hoping I haven't already picked it up and just lost track. Bottle. I got vinegar port, but not Chateau de Vinegar. Damn it. What's up, Mad Wino? Psychotic train wine? I'll save you for later. If later. That's probably going to be one more day. There we go. Got a bottle of Chateau de Vinegar. I'm probably not going to be able to um, finish the day. That doesn't mean I'm not going to try. I'm going to try my damnedest. And then I need blasting soda. I'm pretty sure blasting soda... You get after you defeat a certain number of the cabinets. I guess I could use some banishes or some olfaction to find what I'm looking for, but like... Eh, that takes a lot of effort. It's... Not even so hard. It's just like kind of hard. It's not even kind of hard. It's just, it's just finicky. I don't want to push all the buttons. I just want to push one button over and over again. There we go. That sounds better. Fabric softener. What about fabric hardener? A blackberry polite. I don't, I don't know what that does. I think that increases item drops. Oh, Gee, oh wait, no, never mind. Wait, I got it somewhere in all that? I looked every time. Oh well. Oh, I have created the bottle of Chateau de Vinegar. Uh Where did you come from? It's an offhand item, correct? Or was that the thing that it wanted me to cook? Oh right. Bottle of Chateau de Vinegar de Vinegar. Oh, damn it. Yeah, let me use a dramatic range. Where do I install it? Ha! Huh. I don't have a campground. Where do I put it? Do I just take it back to the cave? There's no electricity in my tomb, I don't think. Alright, I'll equip the unstable fulminant. What's my bonus monster level? I want it up around... I think I want it up around 100. Maybe, maybe that's enough. Alright. Turn that off. No! Tennis ball? How many tennis balls do I have? Oh well, I'll just take the hit. I goofed it. I'm, I'm fucking bleeding turns left and right. Steam elemental. Buzz off. Coltergeist? Go away. Monstrous boiler. Let's try the... Um... Oh wait, did I discover the curse of stench yet? Oh, let me guess. I forgot to discover the curse of stench. Oops. Maybe I ran out of level ups. 48 degrees hotter? Shit. Book of the Undying. Yup, never mind. I missed out on the Curse of Stench. That's okay. These things happen. Still, I'll send the Steam Elemental on the Curse of the Vacation. Don't send me a postcard. That way it's more likely to find the monstrous boiler, the creature I need to fight. Oh, and apparently those 248 degree buffs was enough. Alright, that's fine. Give me back my snow globe. I feel uncomfy without it. Um, This powdered wig wildly askew in one arm and a rough sling. Blast it! I just finished patching that wall. Cannot a man have peace in his own summoning chamber? May devils take thine eyes. Actually, what he says is more like, <laughs> but you're good with that accents. Yeah, it's real funny you should mention that, geezer, considering that is basically what happened, except instead of a literal de wheel, it was an adventurer named Mr. G's crony, and it was your fault. Speak thee up, Jati. 
Some rapscallion made off with my hearing trumpet, and I cannot understand a word thou speakest. You toss the eye of Ed at him. It hits his chest with a hollow thud and a puff of dust, and he catches it fumblingly. The eye of Ed, Hotep, he exclaims. Just Ed will do, thanks. But how? I thought it lost, stolen by that miserable adventurer. By the outer gods. Tis thee, Ed, Ho Ed Hotep himself. Yeah, and I'm not happy. Oh, great Lord Ed Hotep. Just Ed. H how may I redeem myself in thine eyes? How might I account for my failure to defeat that loathsome wretch Ambuxad? You could kneel when you address me for a start. Slowly, slowly, over the course of about four minutes, Lord Spooky Raven lowers himself into a kneeling position. The act is accompanied by an orchestra of squeaks, creakings, pops, and a final dry snap. That's better. Now, here's the deal. You're going to take the eye, and you're going to hide it again, and you're going to do it right this time. And the next time an adventurer comes knocking, they aren't going to be leaving with my part of the staff. Do you understand? Yes, yes, oh great Ed, so Ed. You're lucky I've mellowed out a bit over the eons, or you wouldn't be getting the second chance. There will not be a third. I understand, Lord. Good. This is quite painful. May I rise now? Can you? Uh, no. Then maybe you can just kneel there for a while and think about what you've done. Hell yeah. Cold as ice and twice as smooth. Well, let's go to the Haunted Gallery. I haven't faced the ghost that is shows up here. The ghost of Waldo the Carpathian. Oh, no. Burp. All right. Uh, next. We should uh, investigate the Copperhead Club. Approach Shen's table. Agreed. I have acquired an ancient annoying poison. Um, bring me the artifact. Which artifact? It's not showing up in my quest log. The first pizza from the lair of the ninja snowman. Okay, that's fine. Actually, I'll just turn my combat macro back on. Undying! I haven't died in a while. I know, right? It's like my thing. The frozen solid snake. Oh, that's why it's in a cardboard box. I just got that joke. All right. Right, and we need to get through. Oh no, hailstone sized bullets. Chokes on you, idiot. Nice. All right, I'm gonna see if I can ditch this shelter of shed. Cause it is gonna make things worse for me in the future. It's probably too late, I've probably got too much. Oh, well, we'll do things the hard way. A fan dancer, mother of God. Actually, give me a second. There is a combat item I need to use. Just need to use a chaos butterfly. My opponent goes to attack me, but I shout OBJECTION really loud. Um, here we are. Back to Ed the Undying. Back to the Copperhead Club. Bullets. Oh, here's the artifact. Damn it. Ancient Annoying Serpent Poison. The Stankara Stone and the Rat Bat in Bad Rat Burrow. Fine. I guess. Damn it. How, are, how is he poisoning me? I'm a mummy. Is it mummy poison? It, fuck it. It's probably mummy poison. It's ancient. You know what? It is ancient snake poison. So, like, whatever. I'd be willing to accept that this is from some sort of bizarre snake from the desert that uh, can poison a mummy. It's also, like, just doesn't matter. I'm getting poisoned. What, one way or another, I'm getting poisoned, man. Wait, no, the planes. It's the rat bat and bat... Bat rat. Burrow. Yes. Hello, rat bat. Oh, hey, it's a scream bat. I never found one of you. It was really frustrating, actually. Bat snake. What? Guy likes his snakes, I guess. Oh, God. Do I get shot whenever I undie? I do! Ouch. Unpleasant.
Huh. I've got flaming what's his names. I can't remember how to make uh, flaming flaming Collins. Is that what it's called? I have to upgrade the drink so that I can chuck him. Shield of Brook by the Unquiet Garves. The regular Unquiet Garves or the very Unquiet Garves? You were you were not very specific. Flaming Bartender. Copper and Club. That's good enough. How about a holy bartender? Alright, kiddo. Just that. You're gone. Unnamed Cocktail. Unrequired Jacket. A Flaming What's-His-Name. That's what it's called. Um... After combat, if the lanterns are ablaze with an unnamed cocktail in their inventory. Okay, cool. Oh man, did I forget to get... Did I, did I forgot to get... Did I forget to get Clover's last... I did forget to get Clover's last session. Fuck. Because I definitely want Flamin' What's... A couple of Flamin' What's His Names. Okay, cool. Later, Tater. We'll need those later. They're important. The Snakelton! Who invented this stupid thing? Ow. That's fine. I'm undying. It's all good. Yeah, Shen. I sure did. One end of the Copperhead charm. Cool. How many unnamed cocktails do I have? Only one? It's not worth it going back for the lanterns if I only have one of them. Alright, to the Red Zeppelin's mooring. To the massive mob, massive mob of Zeppelin protesters. Right, I need sleaze damage. Show me sleaze! I guess this is stench. It is stench. Delicious candy is spooky. I have a recording of Benetton's medley of diversity? That could be useful, really. Oh wait, uh, barrel cracker. There we go. That's the one. Give me that. Put that in my face, please. This is also stench damage, right? A colorful toad. Toad in the hole. Oh no, that's all glory to the toad. Eh, same difference. I can't think of any other equipment I have that deals elemental damage. Sleaze element, to be precise. I've got the combat fan, but eh, whatever. <laughs> Alright, I've got the ghost of a necklace. That's something. I might as well put it on. Okay, back to the mob of Zeppelin protesters. I don't have any Leonard gear. Does skipping the adventure take a turn? It doesn't, so I'll worry about that later. Cool, cool, cool. Damn it, I was hoping for a Leonard snare. I, the protesters with bad intent. Up, up, out. Ooh, sweet, Leonard Snare. Oh, wait, I have no crafting skills. I can't make Leonard things. Crap. All right. I'm going to eye more of the protesters with bad intent. Because I don't want to join in because I only have two of the cocktails. So I want to I wanna preserve those. If given the option, I don't want to choose that one. You hear me? You feel me? You see what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm putting down? Item drops plus 130%. Thank you, cat. You are the best, cat. Eagle's milk? Huh. I could have sworn it gave you a buff. Eh. Maybe it doesn't. You okay, game? That I pushed too many buttons? I do declare that I made... Th I committed the terrible, grievous sin of pushing too many buttons. I'll ignore the bustle in the hedgerow. I don't have any... Leonard Tooth Black, right? No, I've just got some Leonard skin, and that's just not gonna... I can't do anything with that. I'm a mummy. I can't, like... The only thing I can fix is myself. There we go. Leonard skin or tooth black. No, damn it. That's the wrong stuff. I want the mouth spray. 
I, the protesters with bad intent, look at me. Uh, I did my best. Cool prank, bro. At this point, it's probably I'm probably better off choosing the first option, no matter what. Just because that gets rid of three protesters instead of the one that I combat well. Because I don't think skipping non-combats increases the chance of the sleazy, the sleazier one. Oh, well. Alright, cool. To the Red Zeppelin. Bum, 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 bum. The Red Butler. Look at all these coins! A red herring. Huh? Huh? You get it? Yeah. Yeah, you get it. Fuck. Oh, wait. This joke is still dumb. Um. I'm just thinking would it have been quicker for me to do the pirates? Uh. Maybe overall, now that I think about it. Because. I would have. I would have spent. Did it, did it automatically create the talisman on him? Okay, I've got the talisman on him. I think maybe that would have been better off because I would have gotten some time to uh, adventure in the hippie and frat boy area. What the hell? To uh, 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 go to the hippie and frat boy areas, which would give me a give me a head start on the level twelve quest. So, eh, you know, jury's still out on that one. I'd be willing to accept it. I'm also like, I'm not big on caring. Caring, not not very big right now. Sorry. Jeez, did I get all the things I need? Except for the uh, Bob race car. I need to use a disposable instant camera. <laughs> Cool. All right. Then I need to defeat. I don't need to search the the palindrome for the staff of fats. I already have it. Oh, pa uh, the 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 lemon. That that was the paranormal activity. Sorry, I just totally missed out on it because I just blew through it too fast. All right, Shelter of Shed is actually running out, so I'll be able to up my combat so that I'll be able to hip-hop the flip-flop and get more items from hippies and frat boys. You heard what I said. Did I stutter? Oh, crap. No, don't, don't. Okay, good. I have an apathetic mood, so I can't add anything to it. Good. Good. All right, all right. All full of buffs. All buffed up. Getting beefed. Please don't tell me I got the uh, thing that I needed already. Oh, I need stunt nuts. Okay, never mind. I got the copy of I Love Me Volume 1 and some stunt nuts. That should be enough. Doop. Place stuff on the shelves. Arrange the photos. Oh, hey, cool. I don't have to like deal with this guy. Oh, uh, because encountering him once is enough, so I don't need to like get get my ass kicked to encounter him twice. That's so cool. Uh, just the right size and shape to hide the staff of fats. You start to replace it in its receptacle, but just then there's a shout behind you. Not so, Boston! You spin around to see a bald man in spectacles and a very severe black trench coat and a very severe black eye to match striding towards you. Swap God for a janitor, he shouts. Rot in a jar of dog paws. You thump him in the head with the staff of fats. I mean, why is it called that anyway? Adding another crease to his already badly creased bowler hat, he staggers back in shock. Egad, a bass tone denotes a bad age. Yeah, that's right. I'm not affected by whatever crazy magic field you got going, except for how it makes my teeth itch. I'm here to return my part of the staff that Mr. G's crony borrowed from you. Borrow or rob? However you want to call it, you screwed up, pal. I am a fool, aloof am I. I'm glad you realized your error. I shouldn't even give you a second chance, but you're weird, and you know what, I like that. Now, let me hear you say it won't happen again. No, it never propagates. 
if I set a gap of prevention. Good. If it does, I'll melt the flesh. I'll melt the flesh right off your bones and use your howling skull as a wind chime. Uh, hypocrisies or poses are in my hymn I erase. So prose, I sir, copy here. Right. Cool. All right. Sweet. We have we have thwarted Doctor Awkward without having to fight him because why would he do that? Uh, all right. So now I have to start the war. Look, I'm working on it. Don't do that passive-aggressive guilt thing on me. I'll have you beheaded. I would not drink of it, boss. Alright, um... Oh, no. The shelter of shed still endures. Damn it. Hmm. So, I want to have the hippie gear so that I can attack the orcish frat house. Okay. But then that would behoove me to acquire the orc gear... To then get the hippie gear. Right. Right? Ow. Okay. That should be enough to... Oh, right. I need to have the stupid hat. Outfit. Cool. Actually, let me disable my auto attack or change my combat macro because I need the lash of the triple thingy uh, the, the, the snakey thing ah shit <laughs> what's it called what are my skills where do I see that help equipment manager daily deeds no 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 my skills is that over here alright fuck, fuck it whatever um oh jesus what a pain in the ass um, Lash of the Cobra. There we go. Just put Lash of the Cobra on there, will you? At the Undying. Un after Curse of the Marshmallow, but before I start unleashing hell. Skill Lash of the Cobra. Back to the hippie camp. Bulletproof Corduroys. Oh, just one. I just need. I think I need the headband. No, I need the. Uh, I need the purple glasses. Come on. There we go. Hey. -o. All right. Got all that cool stuff. Over to the Orcish Frat House. And I'll just start adventuring here until I get the text to begin the war. Oh, uh, but I want to have the shelter of. Paradoxically, I want the shelter of shed for this. Womp womp. Three casts shouldn't be too many. Uh, wake up the pledge and throw down. I never know if I might need their stuff. You know what I mean? The stats are not worth it. Screw this. Head to the roof. War started. Sweet. All right. Um, what can I do to raise my item drops? Oh boy, that is a very big sounding train. I can't equip any of that stuff. I'll use the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe I should eat the video games hot dog? I'll eat the video games hot dog. Video games? Video games. Video games. Yeah. Video games. Anyway, cool. So I'll go to the organic orchard. Hey, let me help you with your problem, hip hippie grocer. Sweet. First combat, scent gland. Second combat, drone scent gland. Oh, can I get it in four? Can we make... Oh my god, we got it in four! Whoo, yeah! Queen's chamber, hello my queen! You are defeated! You're no queen of mine! Sweet. Nice. I'll take my cut of the profits. McMillican Cuddy's Farm or Lady of Perpetual Indecision? As I recall, that's what I was using the Curse of Fortune for so long ago. Uh, tentacles! Tentacles! Alright, I will activate the Curse of Fortune. I don't know if that actually speeds things up, but it couldn't hurt. Uh, it is on to Meat Drops. Me, 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 drops. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Because <laughs> I don't have any, like, meat drop bonuses. Uh, this might not be worth it. I don't know. 
I can't rightly say. It depends on whether the Curse of Fortune assists this or not. Um... <laughs> hey buddy, or whatever. How would you like to have a lot of money? He seems agreeable, so you whistle up a jackal-headed demon and hand him a car coin. Change this in the local currency for me, will ya? The jackal demon shrugs and produces a large wad of meat after deducting a handling fee. You toss the meat to your opponent. Thanks, but what's this for? So I can beat you up and take it back. That seems kind of... Don't ask questions. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Well, it, it seems to be increasing his meat drops. Doubling them, in fact. So I am okay with that. Yeah, no, I'm getting like 5,000 meat around. All right, cool. Curse of Fortune works. Make it happen, Captain. And I get two Kaw coins for every fight that I complete. So I'm just making bank, you know? I get paid no matter what, man. You do whatever you want. You get yours and I get mine. Nice. Let's see if I can just skip a bunch of combats all at once. Or will it only trigger one combat? It skipped a bunch of combats, which I am thankful for. Thank you, game. Thank you for not making me do all that boring stuff. I've already retrieved all the stolen meat. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Can I get healed? No, I gained zero hit points. Of course. Of course. Man, dressing like a hippie sucks. Hmm. I guess I've got... I guess I'll take the oversized pizza cutter. Alright. Next to the farmhouse. Flippin' dukes. Oh, wait. I should turn off Curse of Fortune. I, uh, I won't need that anymore. What did I what did I put here before? Right, uh, lash of the lash of the cobra. I like pickpocketing. I don't want to stop. I have an unhealthy addiction to treasure. What you gonna do about it? You can't stop me. Sorry, I just really like the song for the abyss. just good it's just good music wait did i upgrade the macro i didn't i don't remember if i clicked upgrade macro and if i don't do that that means it doesn't happen okay never mind it's all good we're all good we're all fine here how are you make a fence out of barbed wire knock over the lantern Dump out the drum. The barn should be free. Right, and then we have the three zones out back. Damn it. Destroy me. Destroy me! Ah, I'll enter the underworld, if you don't mind. To the body shop. Body shop. Get me one of everything, please. Thank you. Oh, man. I finally learned... Uh, Shut up, man. I've finally un uh, undying. I have acquired my final skill. The Curse of Stench. Sweet. Sweet lemonade. Sweet, sweet lemonade. And then... Because... Uh, right, I should mention, if you get all of your ducks in the back row of uh, Farmer McMillican Cuddy's farm, you get all of the ducks in a row. And then if you use the Chaos Butterfly, you are able to summon a Whirlwind that decreases the number of ducks there by half. Give me that, give me that Mega Tofu. War, man. Like, wow. Um, right, I don't want any Shelter of Shed. Good, I didn't I didn't re up that buff. I'm gonna I'm gonna anti need it. Can I just select the battlefield? The battlefield in hippie uniform. Um how many soldiers have I defeated? Uh eight. I think I need to defeat 
Seven more? Can I just can I just auto fight this? Yay, I can! So what happens in the graphical CLI? Okay, so my combat macro is working. It's just still worried about like, can you physically attack things there? Oh no, pup. Buzz off. Alright, thanks for the stats, kiddo. Oh, it's always it's always one more combat than I think. I can never keep track. Because once you defeat 64 of them, then you gain access to the junkyard. And then once you're in... I'm sorry, the lighthouse. That's fine. That is... Oh, crap. Problem. I should have purchased some things that I forgot it about. Darn it. Uh, is there anything that can kill me fast? Nothing comes to mind. All right. I hate to do it, but I'm going to have to go to the underworld. It'll take one adventure to return to the mortal realm. I need everything under the underworld. I need two talismans of Horus. Damn. Return to the tomb. That's a shame. That's That's a ball that I dropped. Oh, they're in potions. My bad. Mostly potions. Talisman of Horus. Talisman. 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 I'm trying to figure out how to turn that into Saturday Night's Alright for fighting, and I got nothing. Cool thing is, I got three barrels of gunpowder because I uh, set this up already. A Ow. One barrel of gunpowder. Oh, here's hoping I don't get taken out by those lobster frogmen. Because I don't have any linen bandages. I didn't, it didn't happen. Didn't happen, doesn't count. Woo! Baby! Alright. Let's up some buffs. I wish I could up them more than one at a time. And like, up up all of them more than one at a time. You know what I mean. You're picking up what I'm putting down, right? You know what? I think I might actually be able to end the war. I don't know if I'll be able to finish the day, though. Because I'm thinking, like, maybe 20 more turns. Not, not even 20 more turns. Maybe 10 turns in the junkyard. That's a little optimistic, but, you know, I'm an optimistic guy. Um, ten turns there, you know. Disabled. Oh, no, wait, turn that back on. Turn it off. Turn it on again. Because, uh, right, I need to, oh, uh, no. Enter the underworld. Let's, let's just stock up on stuff. Give me some bandages. Give me all of these. More bandages. Pile of sacramental. Juan! Undying. I assume I draw the life force from my opponent or something, and that's why I can't just undie anywhere. Have you ever tried undying just like apropos of nothing? It's very convenient and it hurts a lot. You'll tear your lumbago, man. You don't want to do that. Nobody wants to do that. All right. There we go. The junkyard is now accessible in this uniform. Disable that. Oh, I could eat one more fullness worth of food. Give me that bag of quap. And I will immediately follow it up. Oh man, I forgot to use the fortune teller. I could have done that to get massive meat drops. Damn it. Why am I so bad at this game? Don't answer that question. Alright, I'm gonna use the hop I'm gonna use the hot tub just to get unquapped up. Junkyard. Yosarian. Molybdenum magnet. And then go to the barrel with something burning in it. Alright, so I'm going to use Minor Curse. Because it does almost no damage. And wait for it to... There we go. Give me that hammer. Yoink. Later, nerd. Crescent wrench over where the old tires are. Sweet. Erudite Gremlin. Great way to... St oh. Wrong Erudite Gremlin. Oh, I should have banished it. I'll banish it next time. Because basically there are two versions of the monster. One that has the item that you and you want to keep fighting that one. And then there's one that doesn't. Like this one. So I'm going to use the tennis ball. 
Uh, you know what? Actually, I'll use the Curse of the Vacation. Because the Tennis Ball is a more limited um, resource. It's a thing that I can run out of very easily. As opposed to the um, uh, Tennis Ball. Yeah, I've only got two Tennis Balls. Oh, shit. There I go. Dropping the ball again. There we go. All right, cool. I d d didn't didn't mess it up. Woo! Not even close, baby. Um, where was I? What the fuck was I talking about? Right. It's it's. Uh, let's stick with the uh, pizza cutter. It's better for me to use the uh, curse of the vacation. Sweet pliers. No. Okay, I've been defeated. Undie. Come back. Keep the mild curse going. Doing very little amounts of damage every turn. Then use the pliers. Then get the pliers. I want to use Curse of the Vacation because that costs mana and I have a shit ton of that and I only have two tennis balls. There we go. Words! I finally I finally used them, folks! Bet you didn't think that was going to happen ever. Now is no time for semi-rares. Now is time for... for, for uh, good screwdrivers. Fuck. I'm bad at navigating these menus. I'm used to having ambidextrous funk slinging, okay? Sweet. All right, I got the spark plug earring. Uh, at the Undying. So now we do 32 hippies. I'm sorry, we destroy 32 frat boys every combat. And there are 700 remaining, which means it's about 3 per 100 rounded up to 800 so that's 24 that'll leave me 31 adventures left over which might might just be enough maybe maybe some people think they can outsmart me maybe maybe but I've yet to meet a man who can outsmart bullets no I should have said mummies should have gone mummies on that one what can I say And this is really this is really the last chance, you know. It's either it's either we finish it, it's either we finish the final quest in those 31 turns or we go home. Um I mean, we'll come back tomorrow and finish it off, but it will be it will be the end of our 3 day. Oh, uh undying, please. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Come at me, bro. I'm undying. What you gonna do about it? Please tell me I didn't miscalculate. Okay, never mind. I miscalculated only very slightly. Alright, let's turn in some items. Where's my dime master? Coin masters. Dime master. The colored class rings we can go all in on, max possible. Oh, and these two. And then everything else is all but usable. All right. I got 90 dimes. That's pretty cool. I will blow it all on fancy seashell necklaces. Yay! And then I will fight the man. Commence the sense knocking. Uh, uh roar. Um, my, my, my lion's gonna roar. You're dead now. Amun. It was good fun. It was good fun. Been a long time since I got my hands dirty on the front lines like that. Since, um, you know, that one guy, the one with the elephants. Indeed, boss. By the way, my agent's all chipped in. We got you a little something to commemorate your victory. Aw, oh, you guys are so sweet. We've finally done it. We found Mr. G's crony. What? Really? Yes. One of my agents spotted her entering the tower of the naughty sorceress a short while ago. And more importantly, she has not reemerged. Well, now, that is something. Do you think this naughty sorceress might have beaten her? She is known to be quite powerful, boss, but I believe the chances are slim. Good. Wouldn't want anybody kill stealing on me. Where is this tower? I'll indicate it on your map, boss. All right. Time to show a jumped up Aaron girl what happens when you cross Ed the Undying. We don't have to go through any of the trials because they've already been defeated. 
to the naughty sorceress's chamber. In the chamber of the very top of the tower, near a sad, greasy smear in the floor, you find Mr. G's crony standing with her arms crossed, contemplating a weird astral portal hovering outside. Hey, lady, I've got a bone to pick with you. Oh, hey, I remember you. I'm dying, right? That was pretty funny. You won't think it's so funny when I when you summon the jackal-headed demons to feast on my whatever? Yeah, I heard that already. Actually, I was going to say when I stomp your teeth down your throat, but yeah. The jackal demons are still a thing. I didn't exactly summon them per se, but you are definitely going to meet them in a second here. Uh-huh, look, I just beat the Naughty Sorceress. I'm the baddest adventurer in all the land. I've already beaten you once, and I've leveled up like twice since then. What makes you think you have any chance against me? And anyway, what are you even doing here? She walks towards you with a amused look on her face. I did your quest already. Your part of the story is over. Are you trying to pull some kind of dumb plot twist like... It was you that was pulling the strings all along? Are you going to do a super cliche villain speech like we're not so different, you and I? No. We're very different, you say, grabbing her by the throat. I'm undying. You are not. Oh, jeez. Prepare for a storm of elemental damage. You summon a sw uh, uh, She has been defeated. Hang on a second, guys. You tell the jackal demons. Put that soul back in there, will ya? I need to ask this crap sack a question first. The demons look at each other, shrug, and push the soul into Mr. G's crony's ear. She opens her eyes with an anguished gasp. Have I got your attention now? Good. Now you know that the jackal demons weren't just an idle threat. Not something I just say to sound cool and scary. I don't exactly know what they do with the souls, but I do know it's not pleasant. You know that too, right? Mr. G's cronies nods weakly, her eyes bulging. Right. So I'm going to ask you a question, and I sure hope I like the answer. Where is the Holy MacGuffin? I don't have it. I do not like that answer. It's just a plot coupon. It's useless. Good grief. It's right there in the name of the damn thing. I gave it to the council because that's how plot coupons work. Nope. Don't like that answer at all. Please. You gesture to the jackal demons. One of them jumps on Mr. Gre Mr. G's crony's stomach, and the other catches her soul as it blows out her mouth with a hoof. Hope you enjoy the centuries of torment before your ethereal essence finds its back, back, way back to Valhalla or wherever this portal thing goes. You say, dragging the body across the floor by one leg and chucking it into the astral gash. Wait, not enjoy. What's the opposite of enjoy? Yeah, that. Back to square one, I guess. To a moon. Welcome back, boss. How did it go? Well, I got good news and crap news. The good news is I beat that adventure's ass, but good. Crap news, she didn't have the MacGuffin. Yeah, I guess I'm not surprised you already know. I found a reference to it in the council's files while you were gone. They have a secret warehouse that they use to store valuable and dangerous magical artifacts and other things they wish to keep out of the wrong hands and in their own. That's modern governments for you. I always figured the best way to keep these things out of the wrong hand was to just cut them off. Fortunately, boss, I've managed to discover the location of the warehouse. I must warn you, it's heavily guarded. Yeah, yeah, well, I just started and finished an entire war by myself and then beat up the self-proclaimed baddest adventurer in all the land. I think I could probably handle it. Wait a minute. That's the mountain where the bird I went to w talk with lives. Where I found that letter from the jackal demons. That is correct. There is a cave there called Noob Cave. There is a secret entrance to the warehouse in the back of it. So that finally explains all those crates. Those sneaky so-and-sos. All right, I'm on my way. Good luck, boss. All right. To the mountains. To Mount Noob. To the secret warehouse. You enter the Noob Cave and make your way past stacks of flimsy-looking crates and the busted shards of same left, but left behind by messy noobs until you come to the rear of the cave in one very large, very serious-looking crate. The boss crate, if you will. It's covered with nicks and dings where new adventurers have tried to assault it and failed. And in fact, on closer inspection, you think it might actually just be a solid brick of wall. You brace your shoulder against it and shove with all your might, and nearly fall over as it slides aside on hidden rollers, revealing a stone staircase leading down, lit with recessed fluorescent tubes. The boss crate slides back into place automatically as you make your way down the steps to a door labeled Authorized Personnel Only. In the name of me, Ed the Undying, I hereby authorize myself. You mutter and push the door open, revealing a brightly lit and utterly massive warehouse. Aisle after aisle of crate-stacked shelves stretch off into the distance. If you squint, you think you can maybe see some faraway guards patrolling and some guys making notes on clipboards. You can sense that the Holy MacGuffin is here. All that's left to do is find it. Once again, you find yourself being grateful in a somewhat sarcastic way. 
that you have all the time in the world. A warehouse clerk. Uh, if I recall correctly, item drops are the way to go down in here. We need to get the goodies from the guys. Uh, pressurized potion of perception. I'm going for it. I'm doing it. Oh, that card's not currently available because I already used it. Oh, no. I'm pulling out all the stops. What is the point of having resources if we do not expend them? That being said. Oh, no, I don't want that. Where's my... Uh, you know what? I don't need the Astral Belt. Uh, I would prefer my KGB Kremlin's Greatest Briefcase. There we go. That's the one. And, of course, the headpiece. Crown of... Uh, no, other crown. crown. The Crown of Ed the Undying. There we go. Give me that. Let me just adjust it a little bit. What's it got on it? Oh, never mind. It's still got that thingy. All right, to the Secret Council Warehouse. Warehouse map page. Um, the map is basically just rows and columns of number. Without something to reference those numbers to, it's not very useful. Useful warehouse walkie-talkie. Oh, I'm wearing a guard's hat. <laughs> Let me put it on. I'm in dis. I'm in disguise. I lost my hat. Could someone bring me a new hat? A few minutes, a guy comes up to you, gives you a warehouse guard hat, and takes the walkie-talkie away. Cool. All right. Uh, so we got that going for us. I can't remember if the cat or the dancer is best here. Let me look at their abilities. Because I've only got 25 turns. I need to make them count. Um, teaches you how to find items. I like that. Uh, teaches you how to store MP and picks pockets. But she can't pick pockets yet. So I'm just going to... I've already got help find items from the cat. So I'm trusting the cat here. Warehouse janitor. Janitor's mop. Makes you look like a warehouse janitor. Janitor's sponge. Steel stench damage and briefly stuns opponents. And then we got some Daffy Taffy. I've acquired the gift of the cat. She's learned a new ability. Probably something to do with napping or ignoring you. 23 adventures. I've got map pages, but those aren't useful. I don't need those. Janitors don't seem to have anything like useful or interesting. Warehouse clerk's glasses. That probably makes me look like the clerk. Damn it. I've got two map pages so far. Uh, you know what? Screw this. I'm really wasting my time here. Disable that. Warehouse clerk, inventory pages. Uh, you're getting cursed of stenched. Cursed of stenched. You heard me. Because I need those uh, warehouse inventory pages more so than I need. Um, there we go. Because I've already got two maps. You compare the map fragment to the stock manifest. The Holy MacGuffin isn't on the list, but at least that lets you strike several aisles of crates from the search, narrowing things down a little bit. This clerk's job is dull. Very dull. Did I... Uh, man, I should have checked the uh, the drops in the last one. Uh, Rouse map page. Nope. Okay. Come on. 12 adventures left. Just give me the shiny, you fuckers. Oh, no. I wanted to banish. I wanted to banish the janitor. Banish the janish. What? Eight adventures left. Throw the tennis ball. It's worth a free runaway. Banish this for 20 turns. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. Come on, damn it. 
Oh, I do believe that's that. We've only got one set of the valuable items that we need in order to make this work. And I think we need three sets. So, you know, our chances were never very good to begin with. Alas, alas, my hopes for a three-day run have been banished. But that's okay. As, as uh, Ed himself put it, we have all the time in the world. Uh, next time on Kingdom of Loathing, we will finish Ed the Undying. Thank you very much for joining me. Good night, everyone.